is the only way to truly immerse yourself. All right, you heard him. You have to turn off all your lights. It has to be pitch dark. You have to have headphones on. That's the only way you can listen to this video. No other way is accepted. Are you ready to continue? Yes. I'm in complete darkness with the volume up as much as I possibly can be. Wonderful news. We can continue. Many of the scenarios and questions present in this game are based on true stories or a real life events. Okay, so this one is this one gonna have to be spooky because the other one wasn't spooky. Those of this game are not responsible for any supernatural ghostly, demonic haunting, or damage that occur during or after playing this game. By continuing, you are accepting full liability for anything that takes place. I understand. I'm ready. Wow, you messed up your room. It was so clean before. Look at the blood there and the little creepy doll there. And the little creepy bear. It says help. Well, 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 what do we have here? I'm surprised to see that you are still alive. You really shouldn't be here. Why not? Nothing bad happened last time. Like, at all. There's still spooks or anything like that. I a feeling that you came here today because you're interested in peering into your future. More specifically, the ends of your future. The fact that you... The fact that you are here right now tells me that you've already dodged a bullet. As I said, you really shouldn't be here. If you think you can somehow manage to escape uh, twice, however, well, let's just say the odds are not very much in your favor. Is this the intruder that you thought was going to happen to me? Nonetheless, you're here now and not much else I can do. Ooh, it's got some spooky sounds. So I suppose we can start with this whole process. You do know this kind of deal comes with a price, right? I don't normally just hand out fate readings freely. If you come to me in the past and I didn't charge you, I must have been having a very good morning and feeling quite generous. I don't think you've ever had me make a deal. I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you how you're going to die, but it's going to cost you 10% of your remaining time on this earth. If you get 10 years to live, I get one of those years. If you got 60 years to live, I get six of those years. You understand, right? Now, I'm not going to tell you how much time you've got left. Uh, now, I'm not going to tell you how much time you've got left, but I will tell you how much time, but how your time will come to an end. And if you play close enough attention, you might be able to avoid tragedy altogether and buy yourself a little extra time among the living. That sounds like a pretty fair deal, don't you think? So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Sorry, no deal. <laughs> Well then, have it your way. I have no use for you. We're done here. Is it going to close the game? <laughs> okay. I've never had that do that before. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the sixth game I played. They're R R Random Studios, as I think is the name of this developer. Um, if you haven't seen any of them or played any of them, I suggest going to check out my playlist that I hopefully have fixed because it wasn't working before. There, or there, I don't know wherever the card points up in one of the corners. Or in the description, that's always in the description. And you can learn about my kinks, because there's a video for that. <laughs> With a test from this. <laughs> Honestly, almost every single one of these tests have some type of sexual question, so if you're interested, like, man, it's in there. <laughs> that sells right, that'll get you to describe and like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're surprised I'm here. Blah, 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 blah. Just give me the deal. I will give you my life. Wait, does that make you make my tragedy happen? Because, you know, if you're taking some of my life and you know when it's in and how it's in, does that mean you shorten my life to that point? Do you make everything? I'm having such a good day. I've done so much. I voted. I decorated some Halloween cookies, and I played, uh, one, two, three, this is my fourth game of the day that I have recorded, which is more than <laughs> I've done in a really long time, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 and tomorrow's work, and I have puppies all week. Which means I get brings on along, but it also means I have puppies all week. We have a deal. Wonderful. I'll be happy to show you what most don't get to see. Now, in order for me to see what I need to see, I need you to do something that most people are unable to do. Something so simple, yet for some reason so incredibly difficult. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and I need you to answer them for me. Now, that's not the hard part, you see. The most difficult part of this entire process is that you need to answer them honestly. 
some of these questions may be easy for you to answer with the utmost truth and best of intentions. But some of these other questions, now, let me tell you, some questions may be incredibly difficult to answer. Because answering some of these questions may make you feel truly, awfully, despicably, disgusting, and moral human being. But let me tell you a little secret. There's no such thing as a good human. Everyone has their quirks. Everyone has their problems. Everyone has their vices. And everyone has their demons. Now that that's out of the way, we're going to begin. If you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about many different variables. And I cannot stress this enough. No matter how uncomfortable you are, no matter how bad it may make you feel, you must 100% be entirely honest with your answers. If you lie, you cannot be saved. The suffering you will endure will know no bounds and you will regret not taking a little extra time before you answer. Take your time, do not rush. Truly think about the answers you're giving. This has been your final warning. Whatever happens to you from this point on is out of my control. And here we go. When you were younger, did you believe in the tooth fairy? Does, yes, didn't everyone? Do you still believe in the tooth fairy? No. Do you ever feel dead inside? Yeah. <laughs> you very well might be. Yeah, I could be a zombie for all I know. Have you, ever, have you ever had thoughts or fantasized of suicide? I have had thoughts. Not lately, not anytime soon, not in the last couple of years. But yes, I had those thoughts mostly in high school, but yes. Have you ever fantasized about murdering another person? No. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be an evil person? No. Well, that's interesting, is it? I don't think most people would say yes to either of those questions. Have you ever considered to be a resentful person? No. Would you consider yourself to be an angry person? Nope. It takes a lot to get me mad. Have you ever killed an animal? Again, I've killed insects. I count those as animals, so yes. Have you ever killed a person? No, I have not. Have you ever had a life-threatening disease? If you had a life-threatening disease, would you intentionally spread it to someone you hated? No, I would not. If you could murder one person and get away with it, would you do it? No, I would not. Hmm. If you had three wishes, would you give one of them away just to be kind? I mean, I'd give one to my family, like maybe my mom or my dad. Or I'd let them have inputs on what I was wishing for, because we all kind of want the same thing and we all live together. It would mostly be like a house or money or a cure to mom's disease. Yeah, I'm kind of good with my disease, but you know, her disease, that'd be nice. So yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a control freak? <laughs> no, I am the most laid back person I've ever met. No one is ever truly in control. Have you ever seen a ghost? <sighs> yes. Maybe, possibly, it was, yeah. Are you sure? No, but it was something. <laughs> I'm sure it was just my mind, like, I don't know, it was dark and it could have just been because I went from light to dark and yeah. You ever woken up to a spider crawling across your eyes? Would you scream? If, no, I would just flick it away. If you had one day to live, would you do something incredibly selfish or provincial harmful to others? No. Are you afraid of another person in your life? No, I'm not scared of anyone. Have you ever been physically assaulted? I mean, I've gotten into fist fights. Does that count as physically insulted? I guess, yes. Do you sometimes feel alone even when you're in a room full of people? Yes. Did that say talk to me? If I told you that your life matters very little in the grand schemes thing, would you be upset by that? No, because I absolutely believe that my life matters very little compared to everything else. If I told you that you're unique, you're special, and there's a good very reason that you're alive, would you believe me? I would not. <laughs> Honestly, I would not. If I told you that you wouldn't be alive much larger, would that frighten you? No. It should. Why? It's not anything I can control. Why should I be afraid of that? 
If I told you that you aren't playing a game right now, we, we, you would know that I was telling you the truth. Uh, no, because this is a game. Do you realize that your fate result revolves around how you decide to answer these questions? Yes, because that's what you told me. Did you get the sense that I might be a living entity, not just on your screen, but in your room with you right this moment? No, you were definitely on my screen. Although, if you wanted to hop in my room, I mean, you look very cool. So, you know, especially if you're tall, you know, that'd be cool. <laughs> if you were already dead, would you want me to tell you? Yes. When you started playing this game, did you realize that you opened a portal from spirit world to your world? No, I didn't. If there's any spirits that would like to visit right now, go ahead, I guess. <laughs> Do you know how to shut a spirit once it opens? No, I didn't even know how I opened one. <laughs> well, I would assume since I opened it by opening this game, I assume if I closed the game, I would close the portal. In order to shut a spirit portal, it creates a living sacrifice. Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. Would you mind losing your pets? Yes, I would. <laughs> Interesting. Have you, have you noticed any strange movement occurring out of the corner of your eyes? Mm. Yes, but it's the stupid so I have three monitors, okay? So I have one on my right, the, my main one in the middle, and I have one on my left. And the one on my left has um, an animated wallpaper. And so sometimes, like, the only, like, lightning part of it um, flashes in the corners of the screen. Which is really weird. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. It doesn't... Can I show you guys? Let me see. So this one, so in the corner, you can't see. Oh yeah, you can. So it flashes in this corner and it flashes in this corner. And so I keep on seeing that. Yeah, like it just did it. I keep on seeing that out of the corner of my eye. And it's, frankly, it's, it, it kind of messes me up, but I also really like this wallpaper. I changed it from the other thing I had. So therefore, I'm gonna go with no, because I know what the movement is. So if you have your feet ever been pulled while you're sleeping, no, even though I do keep them covered and I don't like them hanging off the bed. Are you afraid of dolls? Yes. Do clouds make you uncomfortable? Not really. I'm both no. Have you ever felt like someone was holding you down while you were alone in bed? I mean, and then I kind of like half awake sleep. Yeah, but I also like, I don't know. Mm, well, it would technically be sleep paralysis. I don't. Like, I don't have it all the time, but sometimes, like, I'll have that where I'll wake up, but I can't move anything. Like, I can't even open my eyes, but I know I'm awake, and I can't move any of my body at all. And so, like, yeah, that feels like someone's holding me down, so I guess yes. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? No, even though I'm sure I am right now, maybe. It's, I'm very confused about how to make you guys watch my videos, to be honest. <laughs> Do you ever suffer from three brutes of depression? I, you can even be at this current moment. No, I'm happy as a clam. Do you ever feel like there might be an unseen force draining you of your energy? Yes, it's called school. <laughs> they say that if you break a mirror that you receive seven uh, years of bad luck. Do you believe this? No. Have you ever broken a mirror? I've broken a mirror handle like the little like ones that you like like the smaller ones are just like for your face or makeup i've broken the handle of those but not a mirror itself do you realize that mirrors are typically used as gateways to the spirit realm yes i do know that have you ever heard voices around you when you were alone um yeah, but then I realized it was just YouTube playing by itself for some reason, even though I paused it. So I'm gonna go with no, because I know what that was. Have you ever heard a strange knocking noise when you were alone? Yes, actually, <laughs> this wall, not that you can see it, but this wall over here knocks, like actually knocks. And my dad's like, well, it could be a woodpecker. And I'm like, I know what a woodpecker sounds like. That, that is like knocking. And I haven't heard it since. I heard it one day since I've been in this office and then nothing else. And like, I asked my brother, he's like, oh, it's just, dad told me it was the pipe settling or rusting, rattling. And I'm like, that was a friggin' knock. Like, yes, I've, yes, yes, I, right there. I heard that, I heard that in the game. You're not, you're not clumber. Do you believe in high powers? No, I do not. Do you believe that you have a soul? Yes, I do. Does the thought of being chased make you uncomfortable? 
Um, it makes me anxious, so I guess so. When the phone rings, do you answer it immediately? <laughs> no, I do not. Do you feel like your dead relatives are watching over you? No, I do not. If your mother or father randomly attempt to kill you, would you be able to handle taking their life in self-defense? Yes, because that was always the thing I was taught. If somebody's coming for you to hurt you or to kill you, you put them down hard, no matter who it is. So, yes. Do you love yourself? At this current moment, I do. If you asked me like a couple weeks earlier, I would have said no. But at this current moment, yes. Yes, I do. Do you hate yourself? I can <laughs> at certain times. So, yeah. Do you ever really get chills up your spine? Nope. Do you ever feel the presence of someone else with you when you know for certain and knowing that you're alone? No. Who has a coin that they just flipped across the table? You're never alone. No, that's true. I normally have a cat over, well, I am now because I normally have a cat there. She's not there and I normally have a dog there, but the dog's not there. Do bugs randomly start showing up in your home and disappear as quickly as they came? I mean, yeah, but that's kind of normal. They normally like spiders or cockroaches. Sometimes ants. I'm sure there's just like a hole or something. Have you, have your pets ever acted strangely as if there was an invisible person somewhere near them? No. Do objects really move around your house when you're not around? Nope. Do doors really open or shut seamlessly on their own? Nope. Do your lights ever turn on and off on their own? Nope. <laughs> Did you ever wake up your name being called? I mean, only when my dad's waking me up, so no. Do you, ever, do you feel alone right now? Yes, because nobody's in this room with me. <laughs> you're not. No, you're here with me. And you're here with me. Thank you for joining me on this lovely little test that we're having. Do marks or bruises randomly appear on your body? I mean, <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sure they're from work, but yes, I do. I'll notice that I'll have, like, I have one on my ankle. I have no clue where it's from. It's red. It's, it's large, I assume, <laughs> but I didn't feel it. So I assume it was from a dog ramming into me at work, but are you afraid of anyone in your family? Nope. Do you, tr do you trust everyone you meet? Nope. <laughs> do you, tr uh, do you truly 100% trust anyone in your life? Uh, my family. Do you believe that one day you will be taken from this life unexpectedly? Ah, uh, there's a good friggin' chance of it. So yeah. Hello, camera. Hey, can you focus on me? I don't know where your auto f or your focus just went. And then back down. Thank you. Do you believe in an afterlife? No, I mean, I don't think I like to think that we get reincarnated to have a second chance at life if like bad shit's happened to you and you're taking unexpectedly. Um, but I don't think that's I don't think that as an afterlife, though. Have you ever walked through a cemetery? Yeah, when I was going to visit one of my family. Have you ever been to a funeral? No. Have you ever watched someone die? Nope. Have you ever taken something personal from someone that you knew you shouldn't have? Have you ever taken something personal from someone that you knew you shouldn't have? like they said something and I took it personally or like I stole from them. I'm just going to hit yes because I've had both those situations. Do you feel like someone close to you? Do you feel like someone close to you comes to you in your dreams? No. Do you dream often? Not lately. Do you always lock your doors? No. I mean, my bedroom door and my office door? No. Obviously, I do the back door and the front door. Every time I come in, I immediately lock them. Is that so? Yeah. Are you positive that your doors are locked right now? Yes, I'm positive that my front door and my back door are locked. <laughs> you got stuff when you do that. that is, uh, have you ever noticed something watching you through your window? I mean, birds and squirrels watch me. So, yeah. Do you feel someone behind you right now? There's not. I checked. <laughs> Do you hear any strange noises in your room? No. Would you like to know exactly when you're going to die? No. Would you like to know exactly how you're going to die? No. <laughs> Have you noticed any hidden messages when they need these questions? 
No, I never do. I don't know if there's actually things, but if, hey, if you guys figure it out, let me know. Have you ever experienced demonic activity in your home? No. If I told you that your guardian angel is being held captive and tortured and that oh, you're alone right now, would you believe me? No, because I don't believe in guardian angels, weirdly enough. I think I've discovered I don't believe in angels. I believe in inner demons, but not outer demons. And I don't believe in vampires. I do believe in Bigfoot, though, and the Loch Ness Monster and those type of mythical creatures. Unicorns, dragons, all real. Vampires, no. Demons on the outside, no. Angels, no. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're being haunted? No. Do you believe in aliens? I do. Do you believe that the zombie apocalypse is possible? I do, because some fucker scientist is trying to make it possible. Do you believe in vampires? I don't, I just talked about this. Do you know that statistically you will come in contact with three or more serial killers at some point in your life? I did not know that. I could have gone without knowing that. Did you know that out of every 100 people meet, statistically one of them is a psychopath? I did know that because you told me that last time. Have you ever wished you were dead? I mean, this goes back to suicide, but at one point I did, yes. Are you afraid of death? I am not. Are you afraid of everyone you know and love dying around you? It's kind of, yeah. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> I just gave up ammo, that's great. <laughs> Are you afraid of prematurely losing your memory? Yeah, that actually does kind of freak me out. Are you afraid of your loved ones permanently losing their memories? Yeah. If I told you that at the end of the session, there's a chance that you will be sacrificed to the demons you've unleashed, would you would that thought make you uncomfortable? No, because I can't do anything about it. Do you know do you know that you unleashed demons by agreeing to play this game? No, I didn't know that. Do you know that this isn't a game? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable knowing that six out of twelve playtesters who tested this game in early stages experienced prolonged activity in their homes, and three of them are now deceased? Does it make me uncomfortable? No. <laughs> R.I.P. Hillary, Hillary Phillips, Jason Graham, and Peter Grisham. Your contribution will ever be valued. You will be forever missed. Thank you for everything. Are those real people? No, I don't fucking mess with the Ouija boards. Have you ever made contact with the other side? Probably not. Have you ever had a pat who passed away? Far before it's time. Yes, but it was killed, but I guess yes. Have you ever had thoughts? Yeah, because pass away, it means, yeah, okay. Have you ever had thoughts that were not your own, as if hearing someone else's voice in your head? When I dream, I sometimes do. <laughs> so, I'm here, are you? Hi, who are you? Do you wanna have a chat? Cause this one's kind of boring. Does your back, neck, or shoulders often feel heavy or weighted down? It's called stress, but yes. <laughs> do you have... Luna, baby! Do you have a habit of starting something, but for some reason can't seem to find the motivation to finish it? All the friggin' time. Like, I'm trying to make a new banner for us, and I got it, like, maybe halfway done, and I haven't had to... I haven't finished it. Do you get sick easily? No, I don't. Do things typically end poorly for you, even when... Things have been going really well. No. Sometimes they go really well for me. Do you feel tired and just wish you could sleep all the time? Yes. <laughs> Does something, do you sometimes have difficult sleeping? Yes. Do you often like motivation even though you really want to be productive? Yes. Who doesn't though? Do you often have negative thoughts that you wish that you wish could prevent from entering your mind? Yes. Who doesn't though? Do you get irritated easily? Only when I haven't had enough sleep. Sometimes. <laughs> So, yes, I guess. Are your friendship often straight? No. Are you unlucky in your love life and typically drawn to partners who just aren't good for you? I am unlucky in my life life as, if I've, as in I've never met anyone. But no, I've never had partners who were not just good for me. That would, evol that would involve me having partners. <laughs> Do you often have anomious dreams? I, I'm assuming that means bad. Yes, I often have bad dreams. You sometimes have dreams that you could have sworn were real, but you have no way of explaining how they be real. If I understand this question, yes. <laughs> have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yes. When you're feeling happy, do you sometimes get a sudden burst of negative energy and the happy is quickly sucked away? Sometimes. 
<laughs> Are you afraid of someone coming into your room and singing up behind you while you're not paying attention? No. <laughs> wow! Okay. <laughs> Hi, Hilga. It was nice to meet you. Or were you the one that was talking to me? <laughs> Oh, well, don't mind Hilga. She only, she's only dangerous if you start seeing her around your house once your session has ended. <laughs> Girl, I don't want you around my house. I'm sorry. Invitation is closed for that. That's probably a pretty good place for us to stop the simple segment of our questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. The next segment of our questions will be a yes or no answer. The next portion of... The next portion of our session will be filled with very scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of variable choice making. We'll see how well you handle your options as you dive deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. I am honestly so in love with this cat. She's the best cat. You and your friends are using a Ouija board. False. I would never use a Ouija board. Nor do I have friends. That's a lie. I have one friend. Well, I count him as a friend. He's probably more of a co-worker that I sometimes hang out with. I count him as a friend, though. You ask, is there anyone here? Suddenly, the thingy moves. Cat, I can't, I can't read. You're in front of the screen. Thank you. Moves to the word, yes. What do you do? <laughs> ask with whom you're speaking to. Well, if I am using one, I would think it's all just a prank. So... I would... Oh, I'd probably just lift up my hands, honestly. Very interesting choice. Oh, you made it blurry again. Hello, focus camera. I'm here. I know my cat messed you up, huh? You and your friends are sitting around a campfire. You hear a woman scream in the woods. It sounds very close. It's too dark to hike back to the car safely. No one has a cell phone service. False. Who in this day and age doesn't have cell phone for us? What do you do? Send a couple of people to get there with such help. Send a couple of people to investigate the sound. Everyone split up. Everyone get in their tent for the night until morning. You all fucking stick together in one tent. You don't split up. I'm going to use this one. It says their tent, but I'm going to have it be as everyone got into the same tent. Really now? Yeah, sitting ducks, I know. You and your dog are curled up watching a movie for the night in complete darkness. I don't know you where. Your dog starts barking at the window. Not an uncommon occurrence. <laughs> None of the usual commands to get your dog's attention works or seems to calm it down. Suddenly, your dog starts snarling and snapping as if something's attacking aggressively and runs it towards it. Your dog snarls in with a quick and playful yelp as it runs back towards you in fear. What do you do? I grab my dog and I run upstairs. I get him out of the situation. Hmm, interesting choice. You're working late one night at the office, and it's very quiet in the building. You keep seeing something out of the corner of your eye, but you can't quite catch what it is. Suddenly, you smell an aroma of fresh coffee brewing, but you're certain no one is around. You then hear an unfamiliar voice say your name. You look around you, but no one is there. The lights in the building begin to flicker. The printers and fax machines begin to turn on by themselves, and you hear the sound of children laughing. What do you do? Did you go into the house? <laughs> She rarely does that. <laughs> and there she goes. Back out. Run out of the office as best you can. Ask who's there. Grab the nearest weapon-like object and stand in the corner of the room. That's me. <laughs> Prepare for anything. Ooh, huh? That should lead to an interesting outcome. If anybody wants to fight, let's go. It's the holiday season. It's the holiday season. And you're at your parents' house helping with dinner. You hear all the doors slam up shut upstairs, but everyone is downstairs. What do you do? And I investigate the noise by bringing someone with me. You always go in pairs. We'll see how that plays out for you. You're camping with your partner in the woods, laying in your tent together, and you hear something approach your tent. You quickly look out to investigate, but nothing is there. Zip your tent back up, and suddenly something immediately unzips your tent. What do you do? Uh, sit in the tent and wait for everyone to see who's out there. Ask who's out there, tell them to go away. Jump through the tent open to tackle what's out there. Wake your partner up and tell them to run. Bears can open up flies. So can horses if they grab it right. I mean, a lot of animals can actually open up your tent. So I don't necessarily want to tackle it. I'd probably wake up my partner and tell them to run. But also tents, 
Like, unless you have another entrance, like, the tent my family does has has two entrances. So we could go out the back if we needed to. But if you have, like, a one-person tent or a smaller tent, normally there's only one way in and out. And normally, like, the tent will have a bottom. So, like, you can't lift it up and shoot out, you know. So, but I tell them, having it be my tent, I, we would go out the back way. You're riding your bike down the street, and you pass a house. You notice a clown walking to their car in the driveway, struggling to carry a very heavy bag. When he catches you staring, he snaps, If you keep staring, you'll end up like this. Clown lifts the heavy bag up over his shoulder and tosses it into the trunk before shedding clothes. What do you do? Call the emergency <laughs> contact number immediately. Should have asked him for a balloon. <laughs> I mean, even if there's nothing in the body, that was a threat. So, you're driving home alone at night with your high beams on. Not another car in sight. As you turn around, it bend. You see a middle-aged woman on the other side of the road, naked and bleeding for risk of her head. What do you do? I would curiously pull over and talk to her through the window because it could be a trap. But if she actually needs help, I will totally let her into the car and take her to somewhere to get help. Or call the police. I'd probably call the police, but I would also, uh, um, I won't put my back to her. She can have the passenger side door. Or the trunk. Because if we take the van, I can open, you know what, any car of mine, I can actually, because I don't do the super small ones, I'll just open up the trunk. So that way she can't get to the front for the keys or the gas or anything like that. And that way, she can't immediately reach me. So, that's what I do. I wonder what happens next. You're home alone, making dinner. You're home alone making dinner. The TV is on low in the background. You hear your name in a whisper, but you can't place its location. You look around and don't see anyone, but then you hear it again, closer. What do you do? Uh, I grab a kitchen knife and prepare to defend myself. I know you were going to say that. Yeah, because that's my answer for pretty much all of these. You're laying in the bed at night and you finally drift off to sleep. You're having a lovely dream and suddenly you're awoken by something grabbing hold of your leg and shaking you to conscious. What do you do? Um, you kick your feet wildly, jump out of bed and look under it, run out of your room as fast as you can, call for help and hope that someone hears you. Uh, I run out of my room as fast as I can. Or unlikely it's probably my dad waking me up, but I'll make a note of that. Will you? Alice, will you? You're walking through the grocery store at night, but nobody's in the store. It's completely empty. No customers, no cashiers. Everyone has vanished. Suddenly, you see a tall, dark man standing at you. He begins to sprint towards you. What do you do? Grab the wind here is what they like. And wait. <laughs> Interesting. We'll see if that works. Boy, if I got a cart, shove it towards him. Pin him against the friggin' wall. And you take your weapon-like object, if it's long enough, and you smack him in the head. <laughs> You're in the bathtub at home, and suddenly the bathtub lights turn off. The bathroom door begins to lock itself, and the door slowly creaks open. But no one is standing there. What do you do? Uh, get out of the tub. I tend to climb out your bathroom window. Well, I'm naked. I don't want to go out the window. I'm not staying in the tub, because you can easily drown me. So, And I can't run out, because there's only one door out of this room. So, I will wait in the bathroom. I wonder what's waiting for you. I'm watching you. I have weapons, okay? <laughs> Enjoy the decisions you've made, is it? I think it's about time we move on. There's one last set of questions I'd like to answer. You may not wish to choose an answer to many of these, but you must, no matter how uncomfortable the answer might be. Just imagine a gun to your head when making a decision. You must answer. Now, let us continue. Would you rather kill and eat your best friend or let your best friend kill and eat you? I kill and eat my best friend. Would you rather fight a sailor killer to death or attempt to run away escape? Fight him to death. Again, this goes back to if someone's threatening you, you put them down hard. Would you rather kill both your parents to save all your friends or kill all your friends to save both your parents? I would kill all my friends, which at this current moment is just one person, so. <laughs> would you rather be stuck on a rooftop and surrounded by a horde of zombies down below you or be stuck in a cabin with a large pack of hungry wolves surrounding zombies? I will take a zombie horde any day over a pack of wolves. Would you rather be abducted by aliens or abducted by a sailor killer? Aliens. Would you rather be possessed by a demon and hacked apart the person you love most? Or the person you love most be possessed and let them kill you? Again, this goes back to put them down hard. Except that one doesn't really count. Whatever. They're coming at me because they think I'm a demon and I'm not 
putting up with it. Would you rather hijack a plane and crash into the ocean, or be on a plane that gets hijacked and crash into the mountain? I'd rather hijack a plane and crash into the ocean, because you know what? If I go butt in first, I might be able to live. <laughs> Would you rather be caught in the middle of a gang war, or caught in the middle of two lions fighting? Lions fighting, I have a better chance of living. <laughs> Would you rather be stranded in the middle of the ocean, in open water while slightly bleeding, or be stranded in the middle of the desert while heavenly bleeding? Well, on open water, am I on a boat? I feel like I'd have a better chance, because heavily bleeding also, it could probably be a fatal wound. Open waters. Would you rather be captured by <laughs> modern day pirates or be captured by pirates from the 1700s? Good choice. I probably would have a quicker death with today's pirates. But I might also have a better chance of living if I do the 1700s because they didn't have a lot of high powered weapons. And their ship wouldn't be that fast. Those would depend on where I got captured. Yeah, let's go here. I have a better chance of living. Would you rather die of salvation or die of hydration? Uh, this one. Would you rather have to fend off a home invasion in your house or be surrounded by fire in your own home? Uh, fend off an intruder. Would you rather ingest, ingest an extremely toxic mushroom or get bitten by an equally Poisonous snake. Snake, because I would have a better chance of living. Would you rather visit a haunted insane asylum with no lights or visit a haunted circus with no lights? Insane asylum. <laughs> would you rather be haunted by a very angry gross or a very neutral demon? Demon. Would you rather eat your favorite pet in order to survive a dangerous situation or get eaten by a stranger's dog? I'd rather... Oh, or eat a stranger's body? I will eat a stranger. I will not eat my own pet. Screw that. Would you rather be stabbed three times in each leg or be stabbed once in the stomach? Once in the stomach. Would you rather have your head held under cold water for three minutes or have your head plunged into boiling water for 10 seconds? Well, there's no way I'm holding my breath for three minutes. So this one, would you rather die alone or would you rather die surrounded by all your friends and family? I'd rather die alone. Would you rather have three dozen Last by your phone, jack your th throat. Oh, no. Or let a dozen live scorpions crawl over your body. They can crawl over my body. No, Ugh. no. Oh, that one got a really big reaction. I don't, that made my skin crawl. No. <laughs> Would you rather stay in an extremely haunted mansion for 72 hours or attempt to survive in your own house with a serial killer for 24 hours? Can I kill the serial killer before my time is up? This one has better chance of survival, but I'd much rather be in the, uh, this one. Would you rather sleep in a cellar that a known witch used to live in for one night or sleep in an abandoned ho hospital? Nope, I will sleep in a witch's cellar. Would you rather know that someone has been watching you in your room this entire time be completely oblivious to them standing there? I'd rather be completely oblivious. I found your answer to be very revealing. I have learned a lot. <laughs> I've always grudged up because of the freaking spiders. Oh man. I was so open before. <laughs> Let me take a look at you as a whole and dive deeper into what fate has in store for you. Ah, uh, yes, I believe you have come to a verdict. Based on what you have told me, I've come to a conclusion. This is how I see your life ending. Is it the spiders? Because if it's a spider, I will off myself right now. I'm kidding. YouTube, I'm kidding, okay? <laughs> it's haunted season. You can't bash me for this. Oh no. Well, this is something else. You have a dark black cloud surrounding your aura. There is something attached to your soul, though it's not of the living, nor has it ever been. It is, however, man-made. This dark energy was conjured up by someone, someone who does not want you to be happy. You are cursed, hexed, doomed. This issue is, you may not know the person who cursed you. You see, you're hexed, by association, a spell has been cast on you, and you weren't even the one who did this person wrong. 
but you do know the person is responsible for ag aggravating the wrong individual. Someone close to you, a loved one, or a friend of yours has hurt someone and because of that, that person has either cast a spell themselves or hired someone to cast a spell on this person's loved ones. This is a pretty nasty spell as well, certainly not low level stuff. This is straight out of the demonic realm of a human cast. This curse has been placed upon you, cause adultery and ad adultery? Is that that word? And visual hallucinations, which may make you feel as if you're being haunted. But the truth is, you are all alone. The curse has been put the curse has put a dark cloud around you, surrounding you from your guardian angels and protectors, relatives who have passed on who are looking for you or seeking to protect or guide you. This will cause you much trouble in your life and discount you from those who seek to aid you. You are far more likely to fall into dangerous situations without even realizing it, trust the wrong people and make the wrong choices. These decisions can environment lead you to your demise. Now, it doesn't have to be this way. There is a way to unshroud yourself and break the curse, but it would want to be easy. For starters, the easiest way is to find out which of your loved ones did something they should not have done and hurt someone. Then they must apologize directly to that person or to break the curse. An apology will lift the curse automatically. However, the person they wrong must accept. The apology and feel that is entirely sincere. If this is not an option to you, then we'll have to try and break the curse with the help of someone who knows what they are dealing with. You must seek the aid of a witch or medium who can get help from the other side and see if they can contact your guardians to come lift the shroud off of you through the spirit's realm. Or perhaps cast a spell on you so that it, the shroud may be weakened and broken, feeling you of its bombs. Freeing you is the word I wanted to say there. Only then will you be safe. I hope this helps you. I wish you the best of luck. Your secret word is accursed. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Ooh. Take the secret word that is signed to you at the end of your session and leave it in the comments for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in future projects we're currently working on. If you left your secret word on us on other titles, we've read your feedback and it helped us construct this project as well as other titles that we're currently developing. Don't be afraid. This is an option for you to be part of history. This is your chance to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in the comments. I've already forgotten mine. If you do not wish to be part of the upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of the comments and we will not see your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and always read through them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to support us and we generally hope that you enjoyed your time playing our titles and learned something valuable and important for the better of your life. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We have read every single review and comment left to us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of our games. And in the third and final installment of the test series, all will be revealed. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings. Is there another third one of this type of stuff? In the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything for playing. Your secret word is woo! Yay! We got one jump scare, y'all. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Do you guys see your name in the list below? Trust me. I never do secret words. I think I've done them once. There's all of you. If you guys are in here, let me know. Might be too fast for you. You got the speed of readers. This is good. I still think the confession is my favorite one. And yes, I am gonna say once again, y'all should go watch that video because turtle condom. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all you need to know. And you should all go watch that video. You should also subscribe and to like this video. And let's see, played, played, played. All right, I played a couple of them. Like I said, this is the fifth one that I have done. So if you like this one, go watch the confession, Turtle Kink. Trust me, it's a damn good one. You'll learn way more about me than you probably ever wanted to know. Subscribe, like, go watch the other videos. If you have a game suggestion, let me know. Leave it in the comments, email it to me. I love hearing from you guys. And if we can make it to a thousand at the end of this year, I'll be very appreciated because that'd be freaking amazing. I've worked through this goal for so long and I never thought I would get there. I never thought I would get here to where I currently am. Uh, so thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. 
I'm really glad I am still able to do this and I love it so freaking much. I'm not the best, never will be, but the fact that you guys take your time to watch my stuff when you could be anywhere else on the internet means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go watch the other videos. I promise if you like this one, you'll like the other ones, even though they're older. You'll still like them. It's still me. It's still weird. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.